Hey piggy people, so today's video is about Raisin. She went to the vet. So a little backstory is for the last four weeks I've been finding blood in the cage. So quite concentrated blood, like very dark spots. Or other times it was kind of like a bright red. And I also found a couple clots. So when this first happened I thought it was going to be actually apple thinking that she was passing a stone or having worse issues with her kidneys, but it wasn't. It was coming from raisin. So what I did was treated her with antibiotics, thinking she has a UTI. And the crazy thing is, she would have blood one day, and we're talking lots of spots. So it would be all on her bed where she was sleeping and where she was eating with hay. She'd have that one day, and then all of a sudden, for like three or four days, there'd be nothing. So I thought, oh, the antibiotics are working. But sure enough, it would come back, and it would only be here for a day, and for a part of the day. And then it would go away again, and then it would come back. So I had kept her on antibiotics longer than you usually treat for a UTI, just because I kept thinking like, okay, she must need longer. So it was not going away. So I also tried with giving her Medicam, which is used for pain and inflammation, and still just having the same results where she would be okay for a whole bunch of days, and then all of a sudden the blood would be back again. So we went to the vet today because, like, nothing's working, nothing's changing. She got an x-ray, and it ruled out that she doesn't have stones. There's no sludge in her bladder. Uh, they did obviously... They felt all around her abdomen, like palpitated everything and didn't feel anything. She didn't react. But my vet said since she is passing so much blood and it's concentrated and there's clots, she personally feels like it's the start of something wrong with her uterus. So like a uterine cancer could be starting. So we have been advised that the best thing to do is to get her spayed. So of course, what are the chances that the one pig who I haven't spayed through my journey of spaying and neutering is now showing signs of an issue? So I had kind of toyed with spaying raisin back before the pandemic stuff started, but I kind of ruled out wanting to spay her just because she's a little bit of a crazier pig, a little more high strung and but she's getting a bit older so I'll just not do her and plus the whole ordeal with you know velvet healing I just kind of thought eh maybe I'm done with my spaying journey for right at the moment because I just have Autumn left who's still super young so I thought I've got time to do her later and I was just not going to do Ray and so like what are the chances that of course she's having potentially an issue. So my vet said that on an x-ray seeing their reproductive organs is really really difficult. She said an ultrasound might be a bit easier but she said even then sometimes their digestive tract is in the way because they have so much food in there. So she said you could try an ultrasound to see if you see anything but you might not necessarily. And she said even when she has the spay and they take out her organs, there might not even be a ton to look at. It could very well just be the lining starting to have irritation and bleeding and the clots coming out. So she said there might not even be a tumor or mass or anything in there yet. It could just be the very beginning. So obviously since Ray is going to be four coming up in November, she just felt like it just makes more sense that while well, she's really healthy right now and really active and doing well, that she should be spayed before she gets too much older or before we see more complications or she begins not to eat or drink, that kind of thing. Which I 100% agree because when you're sending a pig for surgery, the younger and the healthier they are, the better chance of their recovery. So I guess that's what we're going to have to do is go get raisin spayed. It just makes me nervous for her just because trying to keep her on her own I just get worried that she's gonna be freaking out I don't know she's all she's a little hyperactive right now that she came back from the vet 
Um, she was very disturbed about going. I've never had to take her before. The last time she was at the vet was when they removed her eye, which was when she was like four or five weeks old. So she hasn't gone since. And I just find right now she's just like can't sit still and is just checking everything out. When I first put her back in the cage after coming back from the vet, she would not move. She was frozen. And she was even letting me pet her, which is crazy. So... I don't know how she would be after the spay being in her own section. The one bonus is she loves the Sherwood recovery food, so hand feeding her will be super simple. I just worry for, you know, her being such a nervous pig. I hate putting any of them under stress by doing stuff that they're not used to and getting them nervous. But we'll have to do what we have to do. So, yeah, that's my story. Um, so my personal feelings, obviously, always, when it comes to a medical issue, is to deal with it quickly. And if there's a solution, I go for the solution. And I just definitely am going to try to get her in as soon as possible while she's feeling as best as she is. So anyway, guys, I will see you all later. Yeah, she just cannot sit still. Because this is not usual behavior for her going absolutely everywhere. Hopefully she'll calm down in a little bit and be able to just relax. Hey Apple. Alright guys, I will talk to you later. Bye bye. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from. So keep on watching.